a few things I want to address. One of them is this, this permanent memory I have seared into my brain, as I'm, I'm sure most servicemen and women. It's the acronym POPPER. The purpose of Interior Guard is to preserve order, protect property, and enforce regulations. And of course, my brain immediately questioned who's whose property and whose regulations and whose order. Well, if it's the people that write the checks and pay the taxes, it's personal property. So the regulations that have been voted on and agreed upon. That is how I view the police. Recently, the police have not been allowed to preserve or protect or enforce any regulation. It's selective enforcement. You know, one guy's radio show I listen to who says, F the police's boss. Because the police's boss is the one that tells them not to enforce certain regulations. Or, those officers should rightfully be fired because they're selectively enforcing the law. And by that, I mean the law that's already on the books. Something, uh, we, we uh, it's kind of our, our platoon motto. Protect the house. You want to protect the house. You obviously want to protect your house. When I was on active duty, the worst things to possibly happen usually happened while I was on sentry duty, guard duty. Uh, I was had to patrol the barracks. There was one issue, several issues, uh, and this, this is story time. One evening, we got the word that in in someone else's barracks, this two roommates that didn't get along, and this, this one kid decided he really hated his roommate and he could go down to the barracks uh, parking lot and underage drink himself into a stupor. Then he went back up to his room and bludgeoned his roommate to death with a crowbar or a tire tool or something. Sobered up a bit, realized what he did, tried to commit suicide off the third deck balcony. Woke up in the hospital and his first words were, I want a lawyer. If you heard about that, it didn't make national news, not that I know of. There was a, an individual that I served with who was involved in some really creepy and disgusting things. And nope, none of us could have ever guessed. He and his wife murdered a lady in their disgusting sex dungeon and they try to get rid of the evidence that guy is no longer a marine he is ward of the state it's another kid my my last my last duty date so myself and a sergeant are just chilling in the in the duty room the break room eating lunch and man, this is a it's a quiet day. That's that's odd how quiet it is. No nobody's uh, no day crew night crew disputes. No roommates are fighting or bickering. No fires, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes. Well, Lance Corporal busts through the door and standing with his corporal. He says, my roommate was huffing air duster and tried to commit suicide. (sighs) 
Okay. So go down to the room. Oh, he's not one of ours. Oh, thank God. He's not one of ours. He's another unit. Uh, downstairs from us. In the same building, but not the same floor. So it was a different unit. Oh, thank God he's not ours. Turns out the kid hadn't even finished checking in yet. Hus huffed air duster. Fell forward. Cut his face all the way up with the locker. Uh, didn't try to commit suicide. He passed out standing up and, and just cut his face straight up with, with that uh, with the latch. Turns out he had uh, some unidentified green substances and some scales along with uh, 20 or so empty cans of air duster. I've never seen someone kicked out of the military so quickly in less than six hours. Why am I telling you all this? Well, quite frankly, nobody hates bad Marines more than good Marines. Nobody hates bad cops more than good cops. If you really want to see a change, police your own. And I mean, I, I, I can take this, I can take this advice personally as well. You don't want to see your group or your demographic looked down upon or, or treated poorly. Police your own. I, if you have to beat the snot out of your cousins with a lead pipe, do it. Quit dragging my family name through the mud. I'm not advocating for murders. I'm not advocating for uh, any type of violence outside of the you know, general description of slap them. Slap, every once in a while, just slap them. The things that are going on in this country are quite disgusting, and it's a, a simple matter of discipline in the home. And I do, regardless of what religion, because, I, mean, I mean, I know... I, I, I know Buddhists that view the world in the same way I do. Why would you do something like that? That's not yours. You didn't pay for it. Who's going to fix this? Who's going to replace that? Why, why are you breaking things in a home that's not yours? And if it was your home, why would you break it? You have to clean that up. Protect the house. Stop acting like fools. Stop acting like idiots. If if you don't want... Okay. Baby killers. I heard that term so many times from movies about Vietnam. Every military member is a baby killer. We've taken that to the furthest extreme we possibly can because now the exception is the rule and the rule is the exception. It's the, the whole upside down. Uh, to the point where the actual baby killers aren't the baby killers the people who aren't baby killers are now the baby killers. And if you can just save one life, insert stupid diatribe here. And it's We've taken that to a, such an extreme that our military members can't do their job. The entire purpose of the Marine Corps is to make Marines and win wars. It's two purposes. Well, when you throw a rules of engagement into a war that restrict the ability to wage war and win war, you usually lose. It's beyond the point of Americans anymore. It's beyond the point of ridiculous. This is, this is far beyond the point of ridiculous. 
it seems that we're no longer Americans. You have to be your tribe. Before the Civil War, we were called these United States. You were a you were a Texan or a Georgian, a Virginian before you were considered an American. After the Civil War, we were considered the United States. We were no longer a, a coalition. It wasn't just a group. It was a unified nation. We're not unified anymore. And it's really getting sick. It's, 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 really, it's really getting disgusting. And you hear the, hear the phrase, be the change you want to see. Lead by example. Regardless of how it affects your career, you need to speak up. And we, we need to speak up. And voice when something's going quite awry. Something's just going completely off the rails. <clears throat> And to be clear, I'm not just talking about police. I'm talking about communities. I'm talking about homes, politics, especially politics. And I will. I, I'll. I'll just. I'll address that that lieutenant that was arrested for uh, pulling into a gas station under a better lit situation. Sergeant Ride the Lightning behaved like he had maybe been on a, a, a call earlier that required him to course through as much testosterone and adrenaline as he had left in his brain. I, I get how the media has hyped up so, things so bad that they are fomenting a race war. I, I wasn't I wasn't in that situation before the stop. You can draw my own conclusions and and be wrong in a week. It was more like ninety ten. Could could the lieutenant have been a little uh, more compliant? Oh sure. But what what's what's with this thing commands? we are civilians and so are police officers you're there to preserve order protect property and enforce regulations not to harass and bludgeon that was a bit ridiculous it was, it was overkill it really was what what if what if i were in that situation you know play play that play that mental game out what what if this was me? We go back go back to first and second grade. What if you were in that situation? How how would you feel about it? What if what if you were in e either one of those three positions? How would you have handled it? Sergeant Ride the Lightning could have been a little cooler about things. He hopped out of his car, ready to fight the beaches of Normandy for a traffic stop and I get it a lot of traffic stops can go bad a lot of them can but everything after the the, the initial 20 seconds the initial five minutes things are going weird and the lieutenant First of all, the peach fuzz doesn't help. The, the goatee could have fooled me. Things got complicated. Thank God no one died. Thank God no one died. No one got shot. But still, at the end of the night, it was, don't do that again. Don't do what again? Lieutenant facial fuzz could have fooled me um, there were 
a few events here in Oklahoma where some gang members were pulling off that um, the stolen valor to try and assassinate soldiers at Fort Sill. So I've got that situation in the back of my mind. Uh, I, I, I really don't trust people who wear their camouflage uniforms off base. That's a personal thing. I'll, I'll get into that later. It's a combat uniform. You don't wear it to go to the gas station. Or the movie theater in Oceanside on Saturday with your children. You see my eye twitching. CNN is to blame more so than police departments. I don't see CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, KGB, CIA, I don't see them policing. I, I, I see them policing, fact checking, and, and telling, you know, well, Snopes says that this is mostly true or, or partially false. That's, that's propaganda, that's gaslighting. Um, any conceivable variation of Machiavellian order, that's, that's exactly what they're doing. That's not policing, that's propaganda. And they, they're culpable for most of these events, more so than the people that are involved in them. How you believe is how you behave. If I honestly believed that I was going to lose my life every time I got in my car, I would be a nervous wreck. And rightfully so. It's back to the... The Rona, the, the beer bug, the coof. Several, several people who have shows and are better studied and more intelligent than myself said that there would be an event, a viral event, and they would use it. Created a synthetic, organic, uh, if, if, it, if it's true or not, regardless of the situation, it will be used. My cognitive dissonance is finite. I started believing that this entire event for the past year or longer has been an entire uh, political event. This is the Machiavelli uh, gaslighting, uh, never let a good crisis go to waste. How much political power has been extracted from this event? So look at Mich Michigan and New York. Two very good examples. I, I I started believing. I started believing the, this way. The moment it was advertised, it was promoted to burn down the cities. We're we're gonna you know the the Michael Moore puppet from Team America, World Police, burn it all down. The moment it was pr approved, the, the summer of love, the Chaz thing, the chop, whatever, the chode, whatever you want to call it, the moment that that was advertised as good, you're gonna, you're gonna you know, regardless if you believe in it or not, biblical prophecy is being fulfilled, calling good evil and evil good, riot, pillage. Uh, set things on, uh, uh, set things on fire, burn the city down, kill people, uh, dissolve the entire country into a third world dictatorship. Being outside, with your cardiovascular system system up, breathing on people, screaming at people, um, running through the streets, leaving the place that looked like Venezuela, just just trash everywhere, San Francisco. Portland that's okay that's well and good 
that's approved. Nobody goes to prison. We don't hear any any um, court cases about any of this. The guy that hit the dude over the head with the bike lock is an ethics professor at Berkeley. The I mean, that was attempted murder on Andy No. The guy that actually did shoot a, a Trump supporter, who may or may not have been a Trump supporter, he just decided, hey, you're a Trump supporter, bang. That's okay. Those are those are fine situations to be in. But don't you dare go to church. That's pretty wicked. That's evil. People running through the streets, breathing on each other. No, it's not a super spreader event. People sitting in a room with masks on, worshiping. Essentially, fulfilling the First Amendment, worshiping as they saw, as they see fit. And I've I've noticed they didn't specif uh, specify which kind of church. It's just you can't go there. I have I have an idea. Can't go to temple, can't go to synagogue. Uh, I, I don't hear anything against mosques, maybe because the law is being selectively enforced. There was a case in in New York of uh, the synagogues being uh, messed with. A few a few churches recently. Once again, selective enforcement. Riots? Totally fine. Everybody can go to Walmart. Go to Lowe's. I don't see a problem with that. Oh, you can't go to church. No, because super spreaders. Super spreader events at church. Protect the house and slap your brother.